Hi, pals. Coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Castillo is framed as a congresswoman attempts to protect her son in the episode Miami Squeeze. On this week in Vice, we're taking a look back to when this episode of Miami Vice aired from February 12th to February 18th, 1989, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on February 14th, the Supreme Leader of Iran issued a decree for the death of the writer Salman Rushdie for his novel, The Satanic Verses. Several attempts on Rushdie's life and people associated with the work, including Hitoshi Iragashi, who was murdered in 1991. In sports, on February 13th, Oklahoma Sooners all-star quarterback Charles Thompson was arrested for selling cocaine to an undercover officer. A picture of the All-American handcuffed and in a prison jumpsuit would be on the cover of Sports Illustrated in a media frenzy followed the disgraced quarterback closely. Thompson served 17 months in prison and would briefly return to football before going undrafted in 1993. In music, all right, I've been looking forward to this week for some time. Kicking Sheriff off the top of the Hot 100 is one of the best performers of the 80s and 90s. From the album Forever Your Girl, is Straight Up by Paul Abdul. The song was an instant classic for both music and the music video. The video included an appearance by Arsenio Hall and was directed by a young David Fincher. In movies, Three Fugitives' short run on the top of the box office comes to an end and is replaced by a sequel to a horror classic. The Fly 2, starring Eric Stoltz and Daphne Zainga, pales in comparison to the original, which starred Jeff Goldblum and was directed by David Cronenberg, but still had the same gross-out effects. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when my advice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show go with the heat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at go with the heat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.